Okay, I'm back and I've got the pockets sewed onto the carpet bag. These are the front pockets. There's two of them and they're padded in case you want to stick a gun down in there. This is the front. This is the back. There's two padded pockets on the back. The inside of the carpet bag is also padded. I've still got to put a bottom on and put the feet on. So on the on the bag I've got to sew the sides and make the pocket corners. And here is the lining and I just finished putting the zipper pocket inside the lining. So I've got to sew the sides of the lining and I've got to make the pocket corners. And then I put the lining inside the body and sew them together. And then it's on to the handles and the closures and the gusset for the middle the gusset for the middle closers. There's a gusset that houses this. So I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and I wanted to update you on what I've finished so far on the cowboy carpet bag. I've got the pocket on. I've double stitched the pocket around the side. This is two pockets for the guns. I've got half of the closure on. The other half will go on the strip that comes over to close it. Like that. I've got one of the handles made and pinned on. Not precisely where I'm going to put it, but so I'll know how it's going to look. Now the handle is a rolled rope handle and it's made, it starts out like this, it's made by rolling, by rolling your fabric, leather, or fake leather in my case, around a rope. You roll it around a rope and then you stitch it, but since I don't have a, a sewing machine that will stitch through this, I hand stitch it, saddle stitch it. So it looks like this in my hand stitching. <laughs> Could be a little better, but it works. Now the bag, the bottom is on the bag and the feet are on the bottom. All the pockets are on the bag. So you have two big pockets in the back. And again, it's double stitched around the sides. I've stitched and uh, nailed the uh, closure in. I've got inside I've got I'm doing this one handed and holding the camera I've got the lining inside the bag and ready to stitch down what I have to do next is to stitch the lining and the bag together forming a casing around the bag for the bag tops and these are what goes in the bag and it opens and closes so I've still got that to do yet I've still got one of the handles to hand stitch and then I got to put both the handles on so the gusset in put the metal bag closures in and this bag will be called done. So once I finish the bag, I'll bring you back 
to see the final product. Okay, I'm back and I finished the bag. I wasn't able to videotape the finishing because I ran out of uh, battery. But here's the finished bag. The bottom is finished with the feet. The front is finished with the padded pockets on either side. The closure is finished. The handles are complete with the football laced leather grip. The back, the back has two other padded pockets. And I finished the front, I finished the top, the top closure had the casing which held the metal clasp. On the next video I make, I'll put a video on how I created the casing for the metal clasp. But the lining is in with the zipper pocket. All I got to do is attach tassels to the zippers. But this bag is complete and ready to go. Thanks for watching and be sure and hit the like button and subscribe. I'm a beginner here. I appreciate all the help. Thank you.